Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, as some of you know, I've been playing with uh, a fairly new digital mode called FT8 for a little while now. And today I just wanted to take you through some of the things I've learned uh, by operating this mode uh, called FT8. For newbies or folks that just joined uh, or subscribed to my uh, YouTube channel, you can look back in the history. I've done several of these videos. If you go to my channel, you can go back through some of the prior videos. Anyway, this mode uh, was also developed by a fella by the name of Joe Taylor. He's a uh, Nobel Prize winning astrophysicist. He also developed another mode called JT-65, and recently he came out with this new mode, FT-8. It's a text message mode in amateur radio, restricted to 13 characters per transmission cycle. So uh, it goes really fast. The exchange is 15 seconds each exchange when some data is transmitted. You can hear the transmissions in the background while I'm talking. That are, those are the radio signals that are transmitting the text messages. So I'm going to take you through some of the software and uh, kind of talk about what I've learned about this software so far. And uh, maybe some newbies that haven't tried FT8 Yet, we'll get a few hints. This is a great mode for solar minimum. Solar minimum. We're in solar minimum right now. Radio signals, uh, it's tough to transmit long distances when there's no sunspots on the sun and no uh, activity in the ionosphere for those signals to uh, bounce off of. Skip, in other words. So... Uh, Kind of tough conditions, but with this mode, you can virtually contact every place in the USA on any particular day that you want to, and pretty reliably, it will decode down to a minus 22 dB uh, signal below the noise floor. So that's a signal you can't hear. Uh, and a signal you can't see on the waterfall. It's invisible, but the software will decode it. So he's in the version 2 of this software, which I'm running right now. Works perfectly, as far as I can tell. And I've heard of people uh, basically planting themselves in front of the radio and not getting up uh, and working every state in the continental USA, including Alaska, in one day. So it's very possible to do that with this mode, even during solar minimum. So let's, uh, let me switch you over to the screen. I'll point out a few things for some newbies that uh, may be interested in learning about this mode. Let me get you over here for a second. All right, so uh, let's open up the software. I've already got it running. I've already tuned the antenna. I'm on 14.074 on 20 meters where these guys and girls hang around to text message over the radio. So let's open up this software. And let me open up the uh, waterfall also. There you go. Whoop. Let me just close this window and then we can just operate on the software. We don't need to see the screen uh, with the flex radio running. Let me kind of position these a little better so you can see it a little better. And uh, the first thing I want to point out let me kind of erase these old signals here. We'll erase those with the erase button. That clears this screen. 
Now, there's some check boxes that you need to have checked in order to operate this mode. Let's go into configurations or file settings. Let's go there. And down here on the bottom, again, I'm hoping the resolution is good enough for you to read this, but you notice that these three are automatically checked when you install a software. However, these two down here are not. And you want to check, double click on call, and you want to check disable transmit after sending 73. You want to check both of those. So they're checked. Then on the front page, you want to make sure auto sequence is checked and call first is checked. So after you've done all that, uh, you're basically, uh, and you've uh, assigned the uh, audio ports correctly, because this uh, software, uh, the radio is actually attached to the computer, so you got to tell the software where the sound is, gonna, is coming from and where you're going to send it to. Uh, using the correct audio ports, and you can do that in the software. <clears throat> All right, so we're monitoring right now, and as you can see, it continues to decode signals automatically. Now, these are kind of cryptic signals if you really don't know what you're looking at, but they're very simple signals. If it's not highlighted, Notice these are highlighted in green because these people are calling CQ. So if you see a green highlight, and it reads from the bottom up, the bottom up. So you always want to be down at the bottom. You don't want to be up here. You want to be at the bottom. So it's reading everything below this dotted line. That's the latest transmissions. So everything below the dotted line. So if you wanted to talk to this fella, you would double click him and it would begin a transmission to that person. I think the best way to show you how this works is to actually make a contact. So I'm going to do that right now. <clears throat> next time, next cycle, I'm going to see if somebody's calling CQ and I'm going to try to make a contact with that person. Let me check one more thing before we do that. I want to make sure my power is set correctly and my AGC is set to fast. I found that is the best setting for the flex radio. It may be different with you on your radio, but on mine it's set to fast. Uh, no preamps and I'm uh, going to transmit 38 watts. So everything is set up properly. I've already tuned the antenna. Everything's ready to go. So let's get back over here and wait for the next transmission, round of transmissions. And let me pick somebody. And let's see if we can just make a contact with K9WKD. Uh, I am I am sending a transmission which basically says hello K9 WKD this is W1 XWX and I'm over here at grid location EM12. If you don't know what grid locations are, you can Google. Uh, he's answering me now in red, so he gave me a signal report of a plus zero six dB. And I'm sending him a minus 11 dB. So let's uh, continue on. And then I'll read this to you once we complete the uh, thing. As you notice, it's doing this all automatically. So here we go with the next round. And he says, Roger, Roger, Roger. He got my signal report of minus 11. He said, Roger, I got that. And I'm sending him a 73 right now, which simply means in hand speak, best regards. 73 means best regards. And he will probably send me a 73 right back in just a second here once the transmission is finished. And there it is. 
And we have completed this transmission. This is a complete transmission right now. So let's kind of read this and then I'll log him and you can see me do that. Uh, so I originally sent, uh, hello K9WKD, let me turn the sound down so you can hear me perfectly. Uh, hello K9WKD, this is W1XWX over here at EM12. And then he sent me a, a back a reply that said, hello W1XWX, this is K9WKD, uh, and your signal is a plus zero six. Then I sent him a signal report. I said, okay, hello K9WKD, this is W1XWX, and your signal is received, that's what that R means, your received signal is a minus 11. And then he sent me back, hello W1XWX, uh, roger, roger, roger on that uh, signal report. Then I said, uh, hello K9WKD, this is W1XWX and 73, which means best regards and uh, thank you and all of that. And then he sent me a final transmission of another 73. So, uh, get you back on my smiling face again here, right here. So that's how a uh, exchange goes. You can see how fast it goes. Uh, I don't know, what was that? Maybe a minute and a half, something like that for the entire exchange. Uh, in a minute, I will log this account this contact on both qrz.com and on eqsl. Now once I accumulate a bunch of contacts, uh, I'm not going to do it for just one, that's all I've had today so far, uh, then I will download my contact file from eqsl onto my computer. I will do that from eqsl. Then, electronically, I will upload that file to various places on the internet. Now, I've already logged them on QRZ and EQSL. I already did that. I'm going to do it in a minute. You'll see me. And, uh, but later, I'll upload that to Logbook of the World, Club Log, and uh, Ham Radio Deluxe Log. But I'll do that electronically just by uploading. I always hear a lot of uh, uh, grumb grumbly old hams, if that's a word, uh, say, I would never keep my log on the internet because they might go out of business and I'd lose my log. Well, they don't know what they're talking about. I have a copy of the log on my computer that I can back up uh, and do whatever I want to do with it uh, because I downloaded my entire log from EQSL. I do that uh, probably every two or three days. So I basically have all my contacts. If they were to disappear tomorrow, all my contacts are on my computer and I back up those contacts uh, to a flash drive. So I always have them regardless of what happens to the computer or the internet. I still have my logs so uh, when you hear that on the internet, on some forum, then some ham jumps out there and says, I don't log on the internet because they might go broke and I lose my log. Uh, that's a bunch of BS. <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, so I would hold anything else they say in, uh, with a grain of salt because they don't know what they're talking about. Anyway, let's just look at the computer for a minute, and we will uh, log this particular contact, and then uh, uh, you'll get to see how I do that. So let's switch you back over to the screen. Real quick here. And uh, let's just uh, open up QRZ. I'm going to do that first. Now, I didn't set all this up before the video. I'm going to do it 
live for real. Okay, so I'm going to go to qrz.com. And here we are, and I'm going to log in. And I have a master program that knows all my, my, uh, my logs, the logins for every site that there is. And you can see the little symbol right here. I'm going to click it. And uh, then I'm going to type in my password. I'm going to type that in. So y'all can't see it. And now I'm on QRZ. And we're going to type in this guy's call sign. Now, normally I would have written this down on a piece of paper to make it a little easier. But I didn't do that this time. K9WKD. K9, WKD, K9, WKD, there we go. And there he is. He was in Illinois. All right? <clears throat> That's the fellow that I made contact with. So let's log a contact with him. And some of this is pre-filled out. I'm on 20 meters. I'm on 14.070. I did this yesterday, so it's still set up that way. Uh, the time is probably a little long. I'm going to put go back about four minutes just to get a more accurate time. And I'm just going to say, uh, give him our signal reports. He was a minus 11, and I was a, what was I? I was a... I was a plus zero six. Plus zero six. My eyes are getting so bad I can't see anymore. Plus zero six. Even with glasses. And I'm just going to put 73 here in case he looks at me. You'll see I said best regards. And now I'm going to save this. And, of course, he will show up in my log on QRZ as the very first contact. Here he is right here. It shows the time, the band we were on, the frequency, FT8, that's what we were working, his name. And there's my 73. So now let's go over to EQSL and do the same thing. And we'll do the same thing here. And see this little blinking box? I will bet you money he has already logged me on EQSL. He beat me to it, all right, because I've been talking. So we're going to bypass this for a minute because I'm going to go ahead and log him. All right, so let's just get away from this window, and we'll go... <clears throat> We'll go right here to the little uh, thing that looks like you're writing something with a pencil. We'll click that. And then we'll uh, type in this information. And what's good is you don't have to remember it. It's right here. K9WKD. Uh, so let's type in K9WKD. And uh, he was a minus 11, if you remember. And I'm going to say 73 from Texas. That'll show up on my electronic QSL card if he wants it. He can download it. <clears throat> and let's get the time and universal time. And that is 1650. That's the time I, I did it. So we'll put that in there, and 20 meters is correct, and FT8 is correct. So we'll save this, and now I have logged in on EQSL. Now, at any time that I want a copy of my complete log, all I have to do is go right here, 
to this little thing that looks like an out arrow where it says log uh, archive or outbox. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you go down to the bottom of that page, there's a spot to download your log in ADI format, which is the format that all electronic logs use. So if I click this, it will send me the file. And then I would have the entire file updated to that moment on my computer. And from there, I can do my electronic logging to the other places on the Internet where people log. I always do this as a courtesy to the other ham radio operators. I do electronic logging, and if they send me a real QSL card, I will return a real QSL card. But normally, I don't do that. I electronically log unless I get a real card. So that's all there is to logging. Uh, let me get you back on my smiling face and we'll close this video out. Anyway, that's FT8. So if you've got a marginal antenna, you're in an HOA and you've got one hidden in a tree up about 20, 10 feet off the ground <laughs> so that they can't see it from the front yard, or uh, if it's uh, you have a only a hundred watt uh, amplifier, you have no amplifier. You're just using hundred watts. On this mode, you're going to use about thirty to forty watts, so no problem there. Uh, and you want to make a bunch of contacts. I would say uh, download this software off of WSJTX, install it, kind of fool around with it to get it to operate. You're going to have to plug your radio in, into the uh, computer, so that's already got to be set up. I've got other videos about using a signal link to attach your computer, your radio to the computer. And many modern radios already have a USB port in the back and a built-in sound card. So uh, you can just simply plug the radio into the computer with a USB cable. Uh, if you've got a uh, modern radio. Many of them have this. Anyway, with that said, I hope this helped uh, some of the newbies a little bit. Kind of showed you what an FT8 contact uh, kind of goes like and a little bit about logging. Uh, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies in 73 and keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Everybody be good. See you all later.